Hi everyone, Stepan here. I'm gonna play a training game. I have the black pieces against Shiva Chess 18. Please make a move. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> at the end of the game, I'm going to show you something new I've been using before I analyze my game to play out key positions once more to test my ideas. Uh, we're gonna be using Nocti to, to train or play out key positions against an AI just to see whether I could have played better so stick around until the end I think it's going to be interesting okay my opponent's threatening mate so let's not allow mate uh, if I had played knight gf6 then knight d6 is checkmate uh, I played one training game which I couldn't post I lost I was a pawn up in the rook end game then I lost that pawn, then I blundered into a lost king and pawn end game, and I started swearing so badly in two languages that I just couldn't edit it out sensibly without ruining the video, so I'm sorry. Uh, I did play <clears throat> a training game that wasn't recorded normally. I never do that, but I just couldn't pose that. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so we have a pretty regular Karo Khan, uh, the Karpov variation where my bishop is outside of the pawn chain. So black has achieved relative equality. I say relative because of the e5 square. So now I have to choose between bishop d6 and bishop e7. On bishop d6 I have to be kind of careful about my queen moves. So I'm going to play bishop e7. Although bishop d6 was more active, this keeps pieces on the board. Uh, my opponent really well has to develop uh, he played this trick with queen e2 that works if you mate somebody but but it doesn't work if, if you don't uh, now if I castle there's g4 and I lose uh, so let's play h6 to prevent that I know this pattern this is a scary pattern so h6 prevents g4 because my bishop has a square okay now if I go bishop e4 he plays f3 or knight f3 if knight f3 have I achieved anything I don't think so so I would like to play c5 I would like to play queen b6 although that doesn't do much uh, he's gonna go bishop g2 and castles how do I make this interesting? I need to get rid of the knight. So knight d5, f6 is something I'm considering. Knight d7 is also an option, but I think I will castle first. I don't think I have to risk all that much just yet. Bishop e4 seemed to amount to nothing. The problem with the Garp of Karo Khan is that the positions are relatively equal. So I want a rook on the d file. I want a knight on d5. His bishop probably retreats to d2 or to c1. So I'm gonna play queen b6 first and then knight d5 so that on bishop d2 I could be able to take on b2. So let's do that. This is a developing move that prepares c5, prepares bringing a rook to the d file <coughs> and sets up a battery on f2 after c5 which is slightly more scary than in normal lines where white's bishop is on e2 okay now knight d5 if my opponent takes that would be great if he plays bishop e3 i'm gonna take that if bishop d2 i take on b2 if bishop c1 then the rook is blocked so let's play knight d5 i like that idea although knight d5 loses to knight d7 so not that although knight d5 knight d7 knight f4 gf4 queen c7 knight f8 no not good enough let's put a rook on d8 i couldn't allow knight d7 Although I think that will be one of the positions I'm going to test against Nocti. 
it's it's really good to play against a human-like opponent who isn't human because you don't have to arrange things you can just play it out i left the the link to to nocti in the description below so you can you can check it out uh okay knight d5 what does my opponent do now bishop c1 is a good move this is definitely an improvement to my opponent's position so i'm thinking c5 now c5 takes bishop takes c5 takes bishop takes i would love to get in bishop d3 somehow but i don't see that working c5 d5 knight takes bishop takes rook takes rook takes pawn takes knight f7 rook f7 the bishops defended c5 d5 c5 d5 knight takes bishop takes rook takes rook takes pawn takes my bishop is hanging on e7 so knight g6 perhaps yes that seems good so my opponent gives up a pawn for the exchange pawn takes no sorry uh, fg6 queen e7 seems good so c5 d5 c5 d5 knight takes bishop takes rook takes rook takes pawn takes knight g6 fg6 works any other good discoveries knight c4 i can take that yeah i'm gonna play c5 because i'm threatening to win a pawn and if this is taken then i can play bishop c5 improving my bishop defending it and also bishop g4 becomes way more dangerous because f3 isn't easy to play So d5 knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes. Knight d7 loses. Oh no, there is knight d7. Knight d7 attacks my queen and my rook and the bishop. So I'd have to go queen d6. Knight f8. Nah, it's a pawn for the exchange. Maybe on d5 I don't do that. Maybe I just take with the pawn. To make sure my knight defends d7 so d5 e d5 knight c4 takes d5 e d5 knight d7 takes d5 e d5 knight g4 takes everything works so i think i take with the e pawn and not with the knight if my opponent plays d5 although i'm not happy to have my bishop hanging on on e7 And that's very often a problem in the Karo Khan. When, when you play c5, they play d5. Something's loose on the e file. Yeah, if you can hear my laptop, I'm sorry. I need to get that heat paste built in or whatever the name is. <coughs> I'm just waiting to come back, back home to Zagreb. I'm on an island at the moment and there are no computer shops here. You can get food or you can go to the pharmacy and that's about it. I'm sure my opponent's calculating d5. I don't think anything else makes too much sense. Bishop e3 is a strange move. Because I take, and if bishop takes, I can play bishop c5. Well, I don't even have to take. Oh, he plays bishop e3. So, takes, bishop takes. Can I choose not to take? So let's say knight d5. Knight d5 now loses. Two takes, bishop takes, rook takes d5. 
or bishop takes d5, rook takes d5, rook takes d5, e takes d5, queen takes e7, unless he takes on c5 first. So knight d5, dc5, bishop c5 saves my bishop. Knight d5, bishop d5, rook d5, dc seems good. Knight d5, dc5, bishop c5, bishop c5, queen c5, bishop d5 is okay. Yeah, I like knight d5, I like knight d5, I'm gonna play it. I don't see a refutation to this, because now the d7 square is defended. If I can get the bishop pair, that would be great. And if he takes on c5, I save my e7 bishop, so there's no trouble there. I may be left with an isolated queen spawn, though, after rook d5, e d5 in the end. Although I'm not sure, so let's look at this. Bishop d5, rook d5, dc5, bishop c5, rook d5. Can I throw in bishop e3? I don't think so. I have to play e d5. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be left with an isolated queen spawn. Not that that's a big deal. But I would prefer not to be left with an isolated queen spawn. Why didn't I see that before playing c5? I was too focused on d5. Although if he starts with dc5, then on bishop d5 I can throw in bishop takes e3. Oh, okay. This I'm very happy to see. So knight e3. I'm expecting f e3. Queen e3 doesn't work. So f e3. Knight e3, f e3. Queen e3, queen e3, queen e3 I just take on b2. Knight e3, f e3, c d, e d, let's say. Maybe bishop f6. Okay, I'm definitely grabbing the bishop pair. I'm not even gonna consider anything else. Although I don't even have to take on uh, on d4. I may be able to just play bishop f6 straight away. Okay, he wants to play e4. That much is clear. So, should I take making e4 less good? Also, how do I get to the g4 square to win an exchange? I don't see a way to do that. So, let's say e4, bishop h7. Is that a big deal? Takes, I'm expecting c takes now because e4 is a problem for me. So, bishop f6, e4, bishop e5, ef5 doesn't work. Bishop f6, e4, bishop h7 d5 takes bishop takes is scary so let's take on d4 should i be afraid of queen f3 Okay, good. Now there's no e4. But I do have to worry about queen f3. If bishop f6, queen f3, rook b8 only move? Oh no, I actually have queen b2. Okay, so that works. Let's improve my bishop. <coughs> Is bishop f6 the best square? It gets away from the pin and it avoids h4, so I think so. I have 11 minutes, my opponent has 10 minutes. 
also if the this pin could be annoying which is why bishop f6 could be a strong move i have the bishop pair but not much else and my dark squared bishop isn't particularly good not that i want to take the knight on e5 but it's blocked at the moment because of the pawn chain on, on d4 c3 and b2 so ideally I would like to play something like bishop g4 at some point. To force him to undefend b2. If queen f3, queen b2, rook d2, I can just take rook e2 I can play what do I do on rook e2 well I can play queen a3 and on queen b7 I can play queen c3 and on queen a7 queen d4 check no the rook is on d1 stupid well that's a strange move that's a very strange move. So if I move my queen too far away, then bishop takes b7. But I can play a6 and target a2. Is there a refutation to that? I don't think so. So queen a6, if knight e3. Queen a6, knight e3. Do I want to take a pawn and give away my light squared bishop? I'm not sure, but I do have to move my queen, and this is the only sensible square I can see, so. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Knight e3 is a big problem. I should have spent more time on knight c4. I didn't even consider the move. Okay, good. So now let's run away from knight e3 somehow. But how? Bishop g6. I don't like bishop g6. But trading queens could be good for me without the tempo on the bishop. So I'm going to go bishop g6. Now maybe knight e5 is good. Ugh. Oh no, maybe knight e5 isn't good. Wait, bishop e5, queen, queen, queen e2, rook e2, bishop, yeah, there's rook e5. There is rook e5, and then I have to play b6 in the end. This is not good. Oh no, queen e2, knight e5, queen e2, rook e2, there is bishop h5, and then he has to either play bishop f3 or knight f3. Okay, so that saves me. Knight e5, queen e2, rook e2, bishop h5, I'm expecting bishop f3. And then, can I throw in bishop e5, bishop h5. That's opposite colored bishops. Not looking good. Not looking promising to win. Oh, 
Oh, but on 95. Okay, okay, he played 93. That's good. I'm happy to see that. Uh, on 95, I had bishop e5, and on queen a6, I had bishop takes d4. I didn't see that. So, <clears throat> I don't think I should decline the queen trade now. I'm actually happy to accept the queen trade because, because I'm left with the bishop pair. And my opponent's rooks are weird, weirdly lined up. So I think the only move is g4. Is the only move g4? If bishop h5, g4. The only move is g4. And then I lose my b pawn. <clears throat> okay, let's let's just play b6. I mean, bishop h5 didn't work because of g4. But after I play bishop g5, then bishop h5, g4, bishop e3, check, rook e3, bishop g4 wins a pawn. So I can prepare that. I also have to mind the pin along the d-file if the knight moves. I think this should be a better endgame for me technically. Because I have the bishop pair. And I can start a minority attack by... Oh, I should have played b5. Why didn't I play b5? Okay, maybe this is safer. But I want to go b5, a5, b4, break up the pawns. Okay. Prevents bishop h5. That makes sense. So can I play... Can I play e5 here? e5, d5 e4 the bishop moves no not yet uh, a5 there's knight c4 bishop e3 doesn't make any sense so i want to double up my rooks but i want to do it without allowing knight c4 and that's hard to do uh, how do i get my other rook into play How do I play b5, b4? So a5, knight c4. a5, knight c4. I should have played b5, probably. So now I'm going to go rook c8. And if d5, that's going to be fine. I'll play rook, the end, rook d8 in the end. I need to prevent knight c4 and I need to start pushing my queen side pawns. Now that I think about it, rook c8 is a bad move. I should have played rook f e8. d5 is scary because my bishop's going to be attacked and I will have no way to defend it. Yeah, my opponent should play d5. Okay, I'm very happy to see this move. Because now on bishop e7, d5, there's bishop c5. And on knight e5... What do I do on knight e5? <laughs> okay, I'll, I, I still go bishop e7. I, I, I'm not going to give away my bishop. On knight e5, I'll just go bishop h7. And still, on knight e5, d5, there's bishop c5. So I don't lose my bishop. I can afford ed. At this point, I may also consider playing bishop h5 if my opponent doesn't play knight e5. This is a very technical position. I would love to play f6, but I cannot do that ever because it weakens e6 too much.
Yeah, as expected. So let's retreat my bishop. If knight c6, I have rook c7. And I give up the bishop pair and I allow d5. My god, I blundered. Knight c6 is almost a winning idea. Oh, my opponent's outplaying me. I should have just traded on e5. This was a very bad idea. Maybe I can save myself on d5 and play rook d7 or rook d8. Because the rook on d1 is still hanging. Probably rook d8. Knight c6, rook c7, knight e7, uh, rook e7, d5, rook d8. Maybe that works. Maybe. I mean, what else am I going to do? I cannot give up the a7 pawn. Yep. And now d5. So d5, my only hope is rook fd8. If rook d2, I can just take, and that's safe enough. If d6, I play rook d7, and then my opponent plays rook d2, and I have no way to prevent bishop c6. So maybe on d6 I have to play rook e8? Ugh. Oof. Okay. Uh, okay, I mean, this is better than, than rook d2. Where it definitely would have been worse. This I can maybe hold. So if I go bishop d3 and my opponent goes d6, I can take. If I go bishop d3 and my opponent goes rook e3, I can go bishop c4. And that works. So I think I go bishop d3. I think my opponent made a mistake. If my opponent goes rook d2 now, I can go bishop c4 still. Okay. Uh, I think rook d2 would have been close to winning and now I may have gotten away with it I got outplayed very badly there will be many interesting positions to play out against Nocti the good news is that now when I played bishop d3 I should be fine and my opponent is down to two minutes Because now I'm saving the pawn, it's just... I'm not going to lose material. If rook e4, I think I just... Okay. This should be fine. This should just be equal. He could have tried rook e4, although I'm not sure that would have worked too well. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, how do I defend? Rook e8? The king and pawn endgame could be slightly better for me. Rook d6? I'm not a big fan of rook d6 because my rook is still hanging there, so let's go rook e8. And then king f8 and threaten to take. 
Okay, he just wants to trade everything. <coughs> Which endgame do I want? I think I want to keep one rook on the board. I'm not going into a king and pawn endgame because my opponent has a passed pawn on the c file and I have a passed pawn on the e file. So let's have a look at e5, king e4, king e6. All the squares are defended, I believe. So rook f8, rook d5, rook f2, rook e5, king d6 seems to work. I mean, I can also consider rook f5, but I don't want to. I think it will be more straightforward if I just go rook f2. Okay. This is just a draw, I think. My opponent wants to move all the pawns. So let's just go back and threaten rook e1 to dislodge the king. We're still fighting. I mean, it's objectively it's equal, but... Okay, do I chase the king away first? I think so. So now let's look at rook b1. Rook b1, rook g7, rook g8, rook b2, rook g7, rook h2. This seems to work. So I'm gonna go rook b1. Because on, on, on b4 I have rook b3. Alright. I mean this is just a draw. I don't think there's any reason to play on. We're both holding everything. Unless... I can get away with e4, but I don't think so. Uh, e4, king f4, g5, check. e4, king f4, g5, check. e4, king f2, rook b1. No, I don't like e4. Uh, so let's go, <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what to do. Let's just keep checking and offer a draw. Because it is a draw. He declines the draw and repeats. That's... Okay, let's, let's draw the game. Okay, so I, I don't think I could have made any progress from here i think this is objectively just to draw let's let's see uh black is slightly better okay point three that should be a draw how do i make progress h5 here yeah this is just a draw okay let's find positions to play out against nocti okay so we're gonna start by going over to themes and we're gonna create a theme with the first position that was kind of risky and that's the position where my opponent got to play knight c6 so we're gonna call this knight c6 let's add an element i'm just pasting pasting the fen 
mistake, my mistake, I want to play as black and let's set Nocti to Rook 4. That should be about 22, 2300. Let's save this. You can see that I've created a million different themes. You, you can play Nocti in any position, like from your repertoire, from any random position, and you basically have a sparring partner. I've usually been using it for end games, though. So you can see I've, I have many themes with end games. So let's practice this. So in the game, I played Bishop E7. And that didn't work out too well. Let me make this a bit bigger. So what if I play something more active like bishop g5 and then on h4 I can then go bishop e7 but the pawn is hanging. Well, let's just do something else. Let's see. On knight e5 I'm okay now bishop e7 and on knight e5 I can go bishop f5 now because there is no g4 because I can retreat and then the h4 pawn is hanging. So now if the main threat is knight e5, knight c6, what if I go rook c7? Yes. Okay. You can see that you get immediate feedback and that, that's great. Uh, so do I want to provoke g4? Bishop f5, g4, bishop h7, and then h5, giving me the g5 square? Definitely. Why? Why? Now g4 doesn't work. Now I can just play bishop f6. Yeah, this would have been much better. Uh, I should have gone... I should have gone bishop g5 instead. Can I try to target this knight? And then... Wait, how does white even save the position if I go rook c8? Rook c8, d5 takes. Pawn takes is forced. Then I have an isolated queen's pawn to play against. Okay, I'm gonna take this. And now I need to set up a blockade. So maybe I can start with bishop d7. Although I don't have to, d6 isn't even possible. d6 isn't possible. Because it runs into rook takes, bishop takes, bishop g4, or just rook takes bishop. So let's chase away that knight. Huh. Interesting. So I should go b5 to prevent b5. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, b5? Nice! Okay. Uh... Now, if this bishop moves away, I win a pawn. So, wait, can I even? Ah, no, I, I don't have time for bishop g4. Damn. What do I do? What do I do? I want to get my king closer and avoid 97 checks. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy when I play a purple move. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's activate my bishop. Bishop f5 d6 doesn't work. So I'm going to have to set up a blockade on d6, although I don't see how. I would love to have my bishop on d6. Hmm, if bishop e7, then d6 is winning. So maybe I just have to trade, but I, I definitely don't want to give my opponent a passed pawn. They still don't have d6 in this position, so... Oh, what do I do? This is so tricky. Wait, maybe I can go bishop f5. Bishop f5, and then is, if d6, I take on c2 takes on e7. Okay, maybe I am going to do that. No, mistake, mistake. Uh, let's actually see what I should have played. Let's get a hint. Rook e8? a6 doesn't do anything. 
I can get away with bishop e7. Let's let's see. I was afraid of d6. So what I'm supposed to What? How does this work? Bishop takes, rook takes, loses a piece. Bishop c6, dc7 loses. And my my bishop's hanging with check. How does how how I don't see how this works. Unless I can play bishop takes d6. I don't see it. I mean my opponent takes with check, so I have to take on c6 with the bishop. No? My god, let's go back. This is this is very tough. Let's go back. What? Rook c6? Wait, bishop d6? I just, I'm just down a piece. Let's go back. Rook c6? Takes on e7 with check? What? I'm just going to be an exchange down. How am I supposed to draw this? This is losing. Okay, let's... You can see that I have 900 take, take backs left. They are finite unless you upgrade. So let's take a hint here. Once again, okay. B5 had to be correct. And then it wants to play a6. Now it says it's a mistake. So why is my position so tough? Okay, let's, let's switch back to... So yeah, you can see that... Nocti is very useful uh, for training in in positions you think you might have might have messed up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn on the engine yet on leeches because I want to actually understand where I had gone wrong. So yeah, this is how I use Nocti sometimes. So please try it out. There's a link in the description. It's a great tool. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.